Pond Baron is an example of how to do a just game in general. It is one of my favorite showcases of something simple, something stylistic, and something fun. It came out yesterday, and it's had a demo for about a year that I don't really have that much, you know, contact with. I played it when the demo originally came out, and I don't know if it actually received a bunch of updates or what have you, but I played it, went, okay, this is cool, and went and moved on because at the end of the day, that was a demo. It's not going to showcase what the whole game is, and... I was kind of wrong the demo showcased exactly what the game was and more importantly the game is not much different yes there's some balance changes yes there's more options and yes there is a lot more going on than just in the demo but i mean when it comes down to it the game is just fun it's one of those simple things of having a chess game is already shooting yourself in the foot because there's so many chess games out there there's so many chess battlers out there there's so many just chess like games you have to make yourself stand out and i feel pawn Barian does a fantastic job standing out not only is it roguelike and yes card battler and puzzle and stuff like that but it's so easy to pick up someone like me who is bad at chess is able to pick this up and enjoy it and not just you know play the game and go okay this is cool but actually enjoy the whole entire experience yes i lost at the end of the day I had fun losing that is an impressive thing to do especially in a chess like game where you know where you messed up eventually and you gave and you just start giving up and here i had fun eventually realizing my mistakes what i could have done better should i have gone the more defensive strat should i have gone the, gone the more aggressive strat there's so much that's in this game and yet it's so simple it's so casual it's one of those things of yeah obviously chess is complicated chess is also simple for some people or chess can be both of them at the same time but this takes it a step further and attaches itself to a rng card battler system that makes it more engaging to me personally if you're always that person that's like chess is all right and you understand why people play it but you're not a big player yourself you'll love pawn Barian because at the end of the day it's chess the same rules the same pieces that you've always come to know except there's a little twist there's a little rpg mechanic there's these people that you're attacking these goblins these orcs whatever they move differently than normal pieces they have an attack radius that covers only the outside of the board covers the inside of the board covers right next to them or right above them and that's all they do they they don't actually attack you like taking your pieces they just do damage to you and that's where i think pawn Barian does really well it would have been a very bad experience if you just lost a piece and you just moved on with the with the way you were and you moved on to the floor and you had to buy your pieces back except it gives you health which is weird in a chess game you think about it you're just like what and when it comes down to it it allows you to experiment do you go into the spot that will make you take almost all of your health but it'll allow you to play aggressive if you get your cards right it'll allow you to take the game if you happen to get that queen draw or uh i don't know even a rook draw whatever have you you have the chance to play whatever way you want which is very rare it's very rare to see a video game especially a roguelike where it allows you to play in so many different styles and yes that is partly due to chess being the backbone of the game but i feel that a lot can be said that this is just really good i think pawn Baron is simplistic it's stylistic but more importantly it's very fun it's addictive if you are always on the fence about chess, this is the game pickup. If you're a chess fan, you should pick it up anyway. You don't have a lot of choices in chess games that are good. And more importantly, if you've never played chess, I can t entirely recommend this game. This is one of those games that people will pass over because it's too simplistic or it doesn't look that engaging. I recommend that you pick this up whenever you can or on sale, whatever. It is that good. Please do yourself a favor.